later when I asked Lauren about her degree in dramaturgy. She invited me to attend a master class at her acting studio to see her at work with one of her students, Claire. As a fellow actor, I was naturally very keen to observe, but the session soon turned into something I'd never experienced at drama school. Oh, right. So, um, your name is... Claire. Well, very nice to meet you, Claire. Uh, my name's Lauren. I'm your drama teacher now. I felt that we had strayed beyond acting and that drama had now turned into therapy. You're just in a bloody mood again, aren't you? I'm in a mood. Mood again, oh yes, that's what it is. It's always you, you bloody well, you. I'm no clinical psychologist, unless you count those four years I spent in Vienna studying with Sigmund Freud. But this acting class seemed to me to be a classic case of transference. It appeared that Lauren wasn't just acting. She was acting out the reality of the real-life relationship with her own mother. Could this be what life is really like for the Harrys on the very rare occasions that there aren't any TV cameras in their home? I try to get you help. I've contacted counsellors. I've done the best I can do what I can with you. Now it is your turn to go out in the world and get some boyfriends. I don't want a boyfriend. Why not? I want my family to be right, and then my head will be right, and then I'll be. Why don't you want boyfriends? Because, because, because I don't need any more aggro. You know, you've got a, you've got a husband. You need a man, because then you have a man, and you have a child, and then you have a place to stay. Six children I've got, right? And I've got another one on the bloody way, and I don't need you in exactly. here all the bloody time. So just get lost out of my house. No, I don't Why not? Because Why you're, not? Because you've got to change. Just get you've got to change, man. Get out and get out now. And sit back down. Sit back down sit now. Back down, I down, said down, sit down, back down, down in a chair. I do what you're bloody told by your mother. Now, oh. I'm your mother. You listen to what I bloody well say. Why don't you start acting like a mother then? Then she got so far into her role, she even turned on me. Go away! Got off! Sod off! Sod off! Out! Go on, Keith! Out! Fed up with him! Out! Get out now! Just go! And with that, I was thrown off my own show. Oh, the ignominy. How the hell did we get from this to this? <laughs> if you followed my advice at the end of part two and had a stiff drink, I suggest you now head for the tranquilizers. <laughs>